Hello. This video about um, your final press, um, pressing and actual presentation of your code. Um, so if you, you, I usually do that on the mannequin and it's easy for me to see um, where I need to press. But um, if you followed all my instructions from the beginning, you would, um, you don't need to press so much anymore because it's already been pre-pressed um, accordingly to what you do. So if you spend time and you be patient, then you you don't need to press so much. You only need to see, overlook, you know, how it's all been um, um, sitting all together. So I usually put on the mannequin to do the final checkup. Um, if you don't have a mannequin, um, then you have to do it on the iron board. Please do not put it on anyone else. You can't press on um, any other bodies or um, your friends or mum. So please don't do that um, because it will um, cause you injuries. So it's very important that you, uh, if you do need to press, you put on the iron board or on the mannequin. Now, if you do need to press, you need to make sure you use um, a cloth, which is you know slightly wet cloth. You cover it, and then you go over uh, stuff. For example, my sleeve. I want to press it my sleeve, so you just cover it, and then you go press over. You have to be very gentle. You have to be um, cautious about stuff, not creating extra creasing or unnecessary creasing. So you only do the stuff which is where you need it to press it. If you've got steam, use with a steam as well. So use cloth and steam on the same time. And then you press, you press the sleeve. So that's what I want to kind of like pay attention to the head of the sleeve. So because if you made it sleeve, as I asked, so you don't need it to press too much. The only you will do have just a little, a little touch of um, hot iron with obviously um, covered, you, you need to cover your um, coat, cover your coat with the damp cloth. So that secretes more sharper look. Again, if you need to do some like lapels, you do like that. So you are um, on the lapel, you don't press that flat. Please do not press it. So if it's a nicely rolled color, the tailors, the good tailors, good makers, they don't have to go and press it that flat. It will just go by itself. So, so it's not really also in common a 19th century to have a really sharp edge. It's more modern look. So you don't don't press it. Don't go and press it that flat. So you have to have that type of type of curve in there. It's part of the the coat, part of the period as well. So it's very important you do that. Um, and then you just observe, just look all around where's, where else is need to be pressed. And as I said, if you are um, you know, um, following my advisors, it pretty much would be spot on anyway, and all will be, um, all will be pressed there. So I just see just a little bit of, of crease in there. So usually you put the um, cloth, but if you have a good steam, so you could to do it just with a steam like that. So I've got, um, uh, you know, I've got this li a little gap between uh, my cloth and the steam and just do that. That really helps as well, just to give a little um, final shade there. That's, um, um, looks really nice, isn't it? And you and the color again, if you followed my instructions, they would be really nice and curved very nicely and that would be pressed again. If you needed to press it, then, you know, you um, go on the iron board, so don't do it on the mannequin. I will definitely have something to put under so you can, um, so you can that's going to be pressed more um, in that curve line instead of pressed flat. Uh, and then just a general, general loop. And if you need to press your edge, that's the front edge. That's definitely have to be on iron board and have to be flat. So just because it's on the mannequins, it doesn't mean that don't go and press it flat. So you have to be um, uh, used you know, flat service as well to press it. So yeah, you look around and make sure all the edge and the pocket flap is you're happy with and the back as well. 
and then you'll vent and your plate make sure it all all um, sits properly and doesn't have any creases and as I said you don't have to press it much if you followed my instruction after when you're happy and satisfied with your pressing how it looks leave it to dry so because it could be slightly damp or um, you know or wet in certain areas and then after that clean your um, clean your cut because it will be um, you know full of little hairs and fluff and dust and especially because we used so much um, inside canvases so some of them it just you know picks up all that um, fluff so it's very important that you clean it as I said um, used before in my little um, videos where I use just any sticky tape just use any which is that I found that's what I found in my uh, drawer and I just used anything sticky and just go that and just clean my uh, cloth with uh, from the fluff and make it um, when it's all cleaned it does make so nice it will look so so professional when it's nice and clean and especially if you look after your stuff you know it does look really nice okay. so make sure you take all your tacking now and um, so I left it that side so just a reminder um, so you don't have to finish completely so you can still leave the talking if you want to uh, but everything else needs to be uh, taken out you look inside as well so I'm going to clean inside um, to make sure that's all clean have no fluff um, you check your lining make sure your lining sits properly and doesn't twist anywhere so if it does obviously you need to undo it and check or or uh, contact me so I can uh, advise you on what to do. Otherwise, um, it's all um, it's all ready. So leave it to dry completely, and I look after that. Put the bag on so you it's the other dust, the fluff doesn't go uh, on your on your coat. Take a lot of photographs as well, so it's just quite important. Um, the next video would be about buttons what type of buttons you can apply and where they, you know, you know where they're going, but what size and what type of buttons is, is it going there. So I'm going to talk about that in the next video. So um, I hope this one was useful for you. See you later. Bye.